fast. I got no battery power. I'm praying that it holds on. <laughs> Hi, my name is Andrea. Uh, I got an Influencer Vox box. I posted a video about it. Um, I'll put the link right there. If you're on a regular computer, you can hit this annotation there and it'll bring you right to that video. I am now going to give you a review of all the products that I got for free from Influencer to review on camera for you. And I will be perfectly honest, I will be 100% honest, there were some things that I liked and some things that I didn't like. I'm going to go through them from dislike to like, okay? First things first, unfortunately I'm going to be showing you the thing that I dislike the most and it was the thing that I was pretty excited about. It's the uh, Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. They claim that it's two times the moisture in half the time. Not really. Not really. You bathe. You don't dry yourself off. You're standing in the shower and then you're supposed to put this on and then that's supposed to take care of your lotion for the day. I personally use lotion at least once a day, usually twice. Once in the morning, once at night, always after I bathe. I don't really take baths, I take showers. Anyway, I go through lots of hand cream, body cream, so I thought this would be great. This was awful. This made me itchy for two days. I tried it three times. I tried it twice full body. I tried it once just to shave my legs because after it wasn't working for my full body, I was like, okay, well, let me figure something else out with this. What am I going to do with this whole big thing? It's a huge container. Smells really good. Made me itchy like crazy, and it did not save me any time. None. I am still putting lotion on, like head to toe. So what's the difference? I don't see what the difference is. What, that I don't have to dry myself off? It takes me two seconds to dry myself off. I have sensitive skin. It's possible this doesn't make you itchy, but this made me extraordinarily itchy. It's a full size, and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. I think I'm just gonna throw it away. Sorry, sorry Jergens. Uh, it also felt like it was, had a residue to it. It felt like I needed to wipe off after <laughs> I used this. And for $7.99 for this, that's what they say that it is, I would not pay $7.99 for this when I can get like Vaseline intensive care for half the price. Okay, Attitude Shampoo. This is a two-in-one. It's not two-in-one like a shampoo and conditioner, it's shampoo and body wash. So it's a real soap soap. Um, I am going to end up using this up, but not on myself, on my kids. I also washed my makeup brushes with it this morning, <laughs> and it smells really nice, and it did a really good job on my makeup brushes. And this is fine for my kids. This did not work out well for my hair. It left a lot of residue in my hair. It made my hair kind of lifeless. Not necessarily that it stripped its oils out, um, but it left it greasy. My hair doesn't get greasy unless I don't wash it for like three or four days at a time. And this was greasy by the end of the day because I did need to use a conditioner afterwards. I did try to not use a conditioner and then I'm like feeling my hair, I'm still in the shower, I'm like, you know what, I, 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 it, my hair was not silky enough. It was not soft enough. I needed my conditioner afterwards. If they made a conditioner that goes with this, maybe I would try it again, but only for free. I would not pay for this. This is supposed to be $10. No, I can get Pantene for half the price and Pantene works out fine for me. I can, I, I've told you guys before, I can deal with cheap shampoo. This is not very cheap. This is actually good for the environment. It's got like anti-cancer agents in it or something, something. I'm not really worried about um, chemicals and stuff like that. I'm not overly sensitive. I'm not worried about cancer. <laughs> They also sent me something that wasn't listed on the card. They sent me an attitude dish soap and I found this to be very not exciting. Um, it, well, first of all, I have a dishwasher, so I don't really wash my dishes very much. I wash my pots and pans and stuff like that. This was nothing more special than Dawn or Cascade or whatever. I don't really use palm olive because I think that they don't, I think they test on animals or something. Anyway, I don't use palm olive because somebody told me not to and it's politically correct not to, so whatever. Uh, this was not anything special. It smelled okay, but whatever. My house always kind of smells nice because I have Scentsy stuff all over my house. This was a full size of this is $4.99. It's kind of pricey for dish soap. Colgate Enamel Health Mouthwash. This again was not very exciting. 
it was a mouthwash. My son uses mouthwash a lot. He likes to use mouthwash because he has an appliance in the upper part of his mouth. So um, he will be using this. I've been holding off on allowing him to use it because I wanted to give it a good go. I used it three or four times. No, maybe four or five times. Once in the morning, once at night kind of a thing for two or three days. Uh, it was not very special. And it didn't give me that alcohol bite that I like. I like Listerine. I'm one of those people, and I know that technically that's not the right thing. I know that technically that actually dries your mouth out and might give you bad breath because it like takes care of the you know the good bacteria in there. But I like it. This didn't have that. This didn't have that bite. It didn't feel like my mouth was very clean afterwards. And then it also says not to eat or drink for 30 minutes afterwards. So um, I did that. You know, I followed all the directions. Just didn't find it very exciting. But it's only two dollars and ninety nine cents for a full size. And I don't think this is a full size. I think this is like a an abbreviated size, not necessarily travel size, obviously. Yay! Yeah, I downloaded this app. I already have my Fitbit app, even though I don't really wear my Fitbit. I have my Fitness Pal. I have a couple of different apps. I have a walking tracker. The app is not extraordinarily user friendly. It's a little unnecessary. The app thing is out of control. I have too many apps on my phone already. It doesn't even sync your contacts. Like, it doesn't even look at your contacts and say, oh, you have contacts that also use the Yaya app. I think that's how you say Yaya. But if you download the app, you are entered into a chance to win a $75 Lululemon gift card. I'm not even a fan of Lululemon anyway. So I'm going to hold on to the app for a couple of days, and if I don't really use it, I'm just going to toss it. Okay, two more things, and these two things are really good. Urgent RX. Where is it? This. My computer is singing because the fan is bad. <laughs> Urgent RX, ache and pain relief to go. This stuff was rocking. This stuff was awesome. I was buzzing afterwards. I like a good buzz. I like a good caffeine buzz. I like a good pre-workout type of uh, ephedra. Remember ephedra? Anyway, <laughs> this is powdered caffeine and aspirin together. This is hangover medicine, and it was fabulous. I did not use it for a hangover. I used it because I have chronic pain, and it did help with my chronic pain. Nothing gets rid of my chronic pain. That's why it's chronic. Um, but this was great, and it gave me a lot of energy. I like it. It's only $1.39 per dose, so if I see this in the store, I will buy it. I probably won't go online to buy it, but if it was at the store, I would probably get it. Okay. Um... It also would be good for fatigue headaches if you guys get uh, migraines due to fatigue or if there's fatigue attached to your headaches. This would be very good because, again, it's caffeine and aspirin mixed together. I don't know if there's a lot of sugar in it. It didn't taste like there was a lot of sugar. It didn't taste bad. You just It's like a powder. You just pour it onto your tongue. You're done. Now, this was my favorite thing ever. This is my favorite thing. Actually, this is going to cause me to not buy my regular face cleanser. I'm really glad that I got this. They gave me a full size. It is fantastic. An Olay Active Botanicals Refreshing Gel Cleanser. Uh, and it's just a straight cleanser. It takes the makeup off, even though you're probably not supposed to use it around the eyes, but I do anyway. Whatever. It takes my makeup off, and I, the other day I was wearing uh, waterproof mascara, which I don't wear very often, but I had gone to a wedding, and I was afraid that I was going to cry. I didn't cry. Anyway, <laughs> I had a full face on, and then I also had waterproof mascara, and this took care of everything. This has a little bit of a bite to it. It has a little bit of a minty thing. It doesn't smell minty. It smells really good. It almost smells like laundry detergent, but I like that smell. By the way, just so you know, this smells really good, too but I just didn't like the way it made my hair feel. Uh, this smells a little bit like, um, it's not lemony and it's not minty, but for some reason it gives that little tingle at the end. Fabulous. Gets all the soap off, I mean, gets all the makeup off, and you need literally, I'm gonna show you how much you need for your whole face. This is going to last me, I don't know, four months, six months, something like that. And this thing is only $5.99. Yeah. Yeah, they also gave me a coupon, so it's only going to cost me $3.99 because it's a $2 off coupon at Target, and I shop at Target all the time. I'm there probably twice a week. My name is Andrea. This was my Vox box. I am so thrilled that Influencer still sends me stuff to review. I'm very thankful. I hope that they're happy with the reviews that I give them. I hope that they are okay with me being quite so honest because I can't lie to my people my subscribers can't lie to them um just not gonna do it so just to recap no good not good for me but fine for my kids i don't know yet i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing that it's gonna be a good thing 
Nothing special. Nothing special. Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. My name is Audrey. I'll talk to you later. Bye!